Thank you for attending the mayor's news briefing this morning. I'm filling in for Mayor Longwell today. My name is Jeff Bluebaum, I'm the Wichita District Council Member for District 4. Joining me today is Brad Crisp and the Wichita Fire Department and Scott Wadle with the Planning Department. Both are here to promote public safety initiatives. First, I want to talk about Wichita Fire Department's annual awareness campaign. WF, Wichita Fire Department is reminding residents to test their smoke alarms and install new batteries this weekend. The time will fall back one hour at 2 a.m. on Sunday. Tragically, each year, more than 2,000 people die nationwide in fires. During the past three years, Wichitans have died, 24 Wichitans have died as a result of fire. Sadly, in at least 10 of these fires, a working smoke alarm was not present. This year alone, three of the fellow citizens <clears throat> have died in their homes, and in at least one of these cases, a working smoke alarm was not present. These tragic deaths have occurred across our city, not confined to certain neighborhoods or older homes. Fire does not discriminate and smoke alarms work for everyone. A working smoke alarm significantly increases your chance of survival if your home catches fire. Smoke alarms continuously scan the air for smoke, giving your loved ones precious time to escape. Working smoke alarms never sleep. According to the National Fire Protection Association, Infor um, Association Information, fire departments across the U.S. responded to more than 350,000 home fires each year. Three out of the five home fire deaths resulted from fires in homes with no smoke alarm or with smoke alarms which did not operate. More than 80% of the fire deaths and fire injuries occur in a person's home. The Wichita Fire Department is committed to reducing the number of deaths and injuries in Wichita. One fire death is too many and we can do a much better job of protecting ourselves and our families. To schedule an appointment to have a smoke alarm installed, please call the Wichita Fire Department at 268-4441 from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Firefighters will come to your home and test your smoke alarm. If you do not have a smoke alarm, firefighters will install one free of charge. Firefighters will have a 9-volt battery to install if you have a smoke alarm. Right now is a great time to test your smoke alarms. Right now is also a great time to have a fire escape plan for you and your family. So have a plan and practice your plan. Make certain members of your family know how to get out of your home. Have a secondary way to escape as well. Get out and stay out. And now I'd like to talk a little bit about bicycle safety. It is increasingly important that we promote bicycle safety given the city's ongoing efforts to install more bike lanes to support our quality of life and promote community health. For safety reasons, it is important for bicyclists to use a light and a red reflector at nighttime. This is also required by state statute and city ordinance. The City of Wichita Police Department is hosting a Light the Night event where individuals with a light can receive, or with individuals without, with a bicycle can receive a free light. The event will be held from 4 to 7 p.m. on Monday at the Red Bridge located between Sim Park and the intersection of Central and McLean. The purpose of the event is to install lights on bicycles with, that lack lights in order to increase safety. The purpose of the event is to install lights on the bicycles to increase safety. So lights only given to people with bicycles. The Light the Night event is occurring on November 2nd following the annual time change. The weather is still warm and people might not be used to how quickly it's be becoming dark. Funding the bicycle equipment comes from a $2,000 grant from the Transportation Safety Grant administered by Kansas Department of Transportation. The city used the funding to purchase the following. 1,200 white lights, white bicycle lights, 250 red bicycle lights, 65 reflector sets, 400 bells, 500 bicycle guides in English, 100 bicycling guides in Spanish. 
The equipment and materials have been distributed in the following ways. At neighborhood city halls, at the planning department, using a walk-up box in the lobby, by the homeless outreach team, by the park department, a, a city, at, and at city recreation centers, and the Wichita Police Department through the night light, light the night event. Also, I should note that on Tuesday, the City Council approved a contract for a second round of federal transportation safety funding from the Kansas Department of Transportation. Once the contract is approved by KDOT, then the City will purchase additional bicycle safety equipment, additional educational materials, and related advertising to increase public awareness and safety. The project helps to improve public safety and implement the Wichita Master Bicycle Plan. Thank you, and now I'll take any of your questions. Any questions? Any questions? I've got one. Okay. Um, notice that Bombardier had canceled the Learjet 85 program. Don't know yet what that will mean for changes with Learjet itself. But for the city, um, I know that they were offered some IRBs. Um, could you tell me about IRBs and, and why the city does that kind of program? Well, generally, in IRB, the city's not going to be at risk because we're, we're not putting the money out there, any administration fee or anything's being paid by them. So I would have to talk to our economic development staff to find out the exact details. If there was any kind of city exposure, if there was any kind of property tax abatement, then, then I'd have to hear that from those individuals. But I don't, I don't have that information with me right now. What other off, off thing? Uh, tomorrow's the anniversary of the tragic a plane crash out at uh, Mid-Continent. Anything associated with that that you could tell me and also the status of uh, flight safety? I know the city has worked with flight safety in anything that you can update us on their plans or lack of plans to rebuild there at the airport, the uh, Citation uh, Learning Center. I'm glad you asked that question because for the last year we've worked closely with flight safety regarding the damaged building. The remaining structure will be removed at their cost and the land will be returned to the city for future development opportunities. Um, the process will begin shortly and be completed as soon as possible. We look forward to continued our long and mutual um, beneficial working relationship with flight safety. and. You know, it's still, it was a year ago, it was very rough for the city, for flight safety and everybody, and we continue to keep everyone in our prayers. But does that signal that they won't be building the citation, uh, or cit citation Learning Center back then there or anywhere in Wichita, or what's the status of that? I, I, I don't have any information on that. That comments just about that property. Just about that property. And right. That's why I was wondering because since it was there before, what you're saying is it's returning back to the city and so that something else can be developed there. I mean to my knowledge they have you know they have several facilities throughout the city. So I can't say specifically it's I don't know that it's gonna be going in that location. 